Hello, I am Dr. Vishnu Rao, Veerapaneni, Consultant in Allergy and Asthma, Swasa Hospital, Hyderabad, Himayat Nagar. So, we are talking about asthma and use of the nebulizer. Asthma is a chronic inflammatory disease of the bronchial tubes. So, I will show you what exactly through this breathing tubes. This is the normal breathing system which looks like this. Whenever there is an inflammation in the breathing tubes, inner lining of the breathing tubes, when they become swollen, red and lot of mucus, then this is called allergic inflammation. When allergic inflammation is there, this is the inflammation, this is the constriction of the smooth muscle and this is lot of edema, mucus plugs which makes the breathing difficulty. So, sometimes there is so much of mucus where you cannot cope up with that mucus and child becomes so breathless, the oxygen supply to the uh, body become less and less. Child becomes little um, weak and cannot take um, uh, through inhalers or whatever. So, then we need to give through the nebulizer whenever this is serious, whenever the asthma is beyond control, severe asthma attack, acute severe asthma. So, asthma attacks which is severe. In that conditions, there are nebulizers. So, see now you can see these are the nebulizers which are run with the battery nowadays. So, you can carry this nebulizer anywhere. So, these are the nebulizers nowadays we are getting. So, these are the nebulizers, this is the mist, whatever is coming out, the particle size is around 2 microns, where it can reach to the respiratory bronchioles also. It can go deeper into the lungs, where it goes to deeper into the lungs. So, this is the thing. So, when it goes, this mucus plugs will be get loosened and easily it comes out, so that uh, the child can cough out the sputum or it can swallow the sputum. So, by that this will uh, all the mucus will be cleared and they keep on opening. Then we can start with the inhalers or whatever it is. So, sometimes, so we can to this we can have the fittings also. If it is a child is more than 6 years or uh, 5 years or like this, they can put it into the mouth like this. <laughs> like that, they can take that uh, uh, mist through the mouth. So, this can be fit and this one can take it like this through the mouth and this is one. If they are not able to inhale themselves, if it is a child, we can add this baby mask, I can fit into the face where like this. So, we can, uh, this, this will give lot of mist. Uh, which is uh, uh, ultrasonic. So, where very fine particles would go deep into the lungs and baby get lot of relief. And this is for the adults. So, this you can fit it like this, you can fit it like this and you can put. When asthma is very severe, very severe where they cannot inhale, where they cannot do this activity. To do this activity also, they should have energy. Some asthmatics are so sick, even they cannot inhale properly. For them, you just put it like this, with that little breath, it will go inside and gradually he becomes little bit active, he can take air, little air. After that, you can control with the uh, spacer or inhaler like that. This is only for the emergency situations, not for the regular use. So, you can um, spacers are there, where you can use through the spacers, but nebulizers are for emergency conditions, where child cannot take properly by themselves. So, sick patients, ICU patients and um, babies, small babies, so we can use this nebulizer, which is very useful in the travel, it is very easy to carry, it does not require any power supply. So, it, it runs with the help of the battery, so you can carry it. 